He was like, bro, the dude on the stream was like, in his stream was like, that's what you get for not, for making a bill that doesn't have interior. And T was like, bro, I got 88 interior. What are you talking about? Like, you can't stop this. And it's like, you'll be trying to jump. You're hitting the jump button. You're doing all the time. And this even happens to my 6 9 center sometimes. If the guys, if the guy has high enough layup and I don't jump and just absolutely snatch block it or something like that, they're going to make the shot. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy. Good morning out there in 2K land, man. Check this out, man. As always, full disclosure, last night's video went absolutely bonkers. That was y'all, man. Y'all did all of this, man. We we, we got 5.4 thousand views already, and we got uh, three, 350 likes, man. That means this video has got legs. And it knows how to use them. A lot of people are having some issues with their jump shot. There's some very good information in this video on how to fix your jump shot. We're talking about hot spots. We're talking about places that you can practice. We're talking about how to get that thing reset all the way back. We're also talking about something very interesting that a couple of people actually said in the video. And that was the fact that they feel the same way that 2K does not know where they're, where they're taking shots from, bro. It really feels like you're taking middies, uh, you're taking threes, the game thinks you're taking middies, man, but hey, it is what it is, man. But listen, I need y'all to hit that like button, absolutely smash that thing. And if y'all do, y'all get to make it to the Notre Game Wall of Fame. And hey, we got my boy, a hey, not not all city, uh, not all city shy, man. He's there. Hey, he says, yes, sir. Hey, man, just all the people that come out here, man. He said, hey, thanks for the vid because I shot 0% in direct today. Hey, he says, I noticed it for me, the release speed is lower, uh, is lower than B. I have to use set point, and if it's faster than B, I have to use push, and it works perfectly for me. So that's good. For, that's some good information for y'all. I'm shooting about 65% from the three, and I also don't mind using a slower jumper if I can get the defensive immunity to an A or better. Seems like I hit higher contested shots with a higher defensive immunity. It's absolutely, absolutely right. He said, what's good for practicing? T told us all those, man. Also, the top comment from yesterday, and this was, and this uh, that was the actual top comment from yesterday, so we ain't even got to read that. All we got to do is get right into the video and talk about what we're talking about and with all that out of the way yes sir! what's going on everybody it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's town coming to you live with another video man make sure y'all smash that like button and subscribe if you're new y'all saw this what i'm gonna say is, i'm gonna say it again look at the button down there subscribe if you're new and uh man make sure y'all join the family man and if you don't have nobody to play with i want y'all to do this right here for me Go down to the link in the description, join the Discord. We got plenty of people to play with. You can talk to me directly if you need to talk to me. You can keep me up on game. Uh, you know, we got news articles and all this. <laughs> Look at the caps and stuff. <laughs> Y'all boys be killing me with that, man. But listen, Discord link down in the description. Let's join that. I want to try to get a little Discord. Um, We're going to do something special today. We're going to do uh, sub wars. Well, I'm going to have y'all. We're going to go out there to the park. And um and we're gonna just have y'all play each other, man. And I'm gonna try to watch the games. I'm gonna commentate it. We just gonna see how they go, man. So if you think you can play, man, come on out there. Show us what you got. But like I said, let's get this video to uh, uh 300 likes before we get to 1500 views. That gets us going to the moon, Alice. And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family love each and every last one of y'all. Let's get right into it. My guy Splashy. Y'all might think that I don't rock with Splashy. I actually rock with Splashy. I like him. But you can have a disagreement. I actually would probably like to have some type of like, like a show with Splashy on there man but you can have disagreements you don't have to agree with everything that everybody says people disagreeing is just the signs of intelligent people exchanging ideas that's all a disagreement is and you feel like you feel i feel like i feel but anyway this is something that we don't disagree on he said hey braun only braun is the only guy that gets penalized for trusting his teammates and hitting them wide open uh well, <laughs> well nah he should have he should have um went on went up on like three people or what have you man and that's what people say and that like like that's we, we, we referencing the joint when he passed to uh cam reddish wide open uh in the corner and he says we never gonna say nothing uh we're never gonna say the dude should have hit the wide open shot like you say you know what i'm saying he gets penalized everybody already said they say nah he said this i want to see if somebody noticed this right he says nah uh he should have hit christian woods and he said cam needed to wake up uh that's a practice shot that's a fact but he said he needed to hit christian woods once bam jumped uh if uh, if he didn't jump i'm taking chris like uh, yeah you can say he would have he could have hit christian woods but somebody was on christian woods back man you, you can't get that pass in there uh after bam and he jumped and that's what caused bam to jump but anyway y'all let me know what y'all think is lebron the only person that gets penalized for making the right play like dude you gotta hit the wide open shot if i pass you the ball blast ass open i expect you to hit the shot like right here right here look i gotta hit that shot whether i hit it or not i'm blast ass open 
it's on me. I got to hit that shot. That's a practice shot. So I'm rocking with Splashy on that one. But speaking of shots, man, my boy Ja Bridge for Jab, a.k.a. J.A. Bridge for he just said, man, he said, look, man, uh, this is the wing green window with heat check and sharp take now, man. And he says, dang, they really passed it. Bro, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That joint used to be crazy. And uh, hey, and then he said, you know, for more context, this is exactly what it looked like or or what have you. And yo, he shot it. I mean, he, he, he got it and he hit it. And yes, he is out there uh, at the uh, hash or whatever. But bro, let me show y'all what somebody talked about. Uh, this is a post from Ja. Uh, the other day, we're gonna call him Jab, man. J Bridge for a jab. He just said, Hey, man, so basically the heat check is an auto green. This is what heat check used to look like. I'm gonna let this young man tell you what it used to be. All right, TikTok and Twitter. I'm gonna show you guys something. When you All right, he got he got copyright music in there, man. So we're not gonna talk about it. But look, he said, look, I can just hold it down and it's basically an auto green or whatever. You can just really hold it down and that when that's what it was. And uh, like we said, we know it wasn't won't work if you're contesting or anything like that. But was he contesting on that one? Uh, yeah, I said wide open, so cool. And then he did the exact same thing. Go to the other side, and then uh, okay, well he didn't hold it down on that. Did he pop hold it down? Wait, did he take another shot? Okay, here we go again. Another shot, bam. It's, it said that he was wide open and he just held it down and he didn't let it go. Now, unless he's doing his thing and he's got that thing automatically programmed in there and he's sensational. They definitely have changed that, man. And let me know if y'all think so, man, because I, I missed a couple of shots in take the other day and I was actually uh pretty... I was actually pretty uh pretty shocked at myself, man. You know how you know how that goes. But uh then at the same time you got this right here, and it just says an 83 ball with sharp take, wide, wide, wide later rows, butt cheeks open, and my meter is this small and uh is this normal. So like I said, the meter has been this small and it was bigger with heat check, but uh at the same time with the heat check, we did see prior to uh any type of changes you know that it was so I, I think the meter is not bigger but hey it is what it is all i can tell y'all is there have been no changes to anything to nba 2k and that couldn't possibly be a change because they did not tell us about that and that's the end of that y'all let me know what i what y'all think about that or is it cap on cap off cap on cap off the capper speaking of caps man check hey get your tees in the breeze when you're rocking with breeze tees man go on over to the site check out some of the stuff man we got gear we got that goat status goat status go got some colorado gear eat sleep 2k repeat uh we got eat sleep uh anime repeat we got uh you know we got some stuff and we got the stuff where you can do your own gear man you can upload your own images and stuff like that all right somebody ordered some hats from us we got our embroidered machine online i'm gonna send y'all two versions of that hat i'm gonna send the printed version and i'm gonna send the embroidered version i just want y'all to know that we got the embroidered machine online and so that, that's that's that, that's the you know a little bit of the hold up on that one but we got y'all i promise you man but like hey shameless plug anyway hey back back to my guy man hey uh double a says he says hey looks like everybody in the community is going to cod Fortnite or becoming a sports gambler or a bodybuilder now check this out like i beg to differ because i always been a bodybuilder in this thing man look at the goddamn Oh, man, look at the ass, man. I'm, I'm so ripped as man. I've always been a bodybuilder. We ain't becoming that, man. It's just a lot of people feel like that the, the, uh, the views are a direct reflection of how the 2K community feels about the game. Um, but, and uh, and then what's the name? They say, what if I do all of those? That's, that's crazy. A lot of people think that uh, that's a reflection of the game itself and the popularity of the game, but we know that's not the case, man. We know that, we know that the game itself uh, you know, a lot of people playing it. They don't watch videos. They don't do YouTube. They don't do stuff like that. So that that just is what it is. Up next, we got that boy, uh, uh, Red City. He said 2K just needs to get away from the realism and, uh, and a few tweaks, and it'll be fun again. Can't burst out of moves. Can't hop step uh, with without pausing two seconds. All the best jump shot bases got removed uh i said did OG fortnite kill it no it didn't and like i said man a lot of people don't feel that way but we were just clamoring for the game needs to be more realistic and stuff like that then my guy tj kind of echoes that sentiment and he says hey this is a uh when one person says nah 2k is the only com <laughs> only competition because of the realism if it's arcade basketball games were, if arcade basketball games were popular they would still be played and then so tj says uh this is another wrong tweet 
y'all delusions the games don't get played anymore because we can't play them uh you know pretty much what he said because the service is closed and stuff and stuff like that and then he says i want to play 2k not irl basketball is that too much to ask for and like i said man so a lot of people are not having a lot of fun with this irl basketball thing now we got one person that is having irl I mean, fun with irl basketball on the game and he's playing it like that and a lot of people don't like it but hey we're gonna talk about that in one second before we talk about that we're gonna talk about my guy cheese holic man hey listen bro i ain't gonna lie to y'all bro the stuff that we go through and do for these uh for videos bro like look at this bro he's like like they got him like big nose he's like bro y'all gotta chill uh or whatever bro they got this right here he looking like this dude said bro the the the, the comments is like bro like come on man we see the we see the paint on your leg right there and then the other com the other comment said is it just me or do i see somebody's face in there he got the face bro ain't nobody mess with cheese car man he just was doing his thing and speaking of realism this is one of the things that we talking about man we got to talk about this all the time all the time we got my boy black cobra and he's out there hooping man hey man listen he's doing his thing put his mixtape out there uh, say he been labbing and stuff like this man and you know he's embracing the realism that's in the game you cannot stop the mid-range game in this game if somebody's very well versed in mid-range um you can't stop them but a lot of people would never know because they just chuck threes and try to hide behind screens and they don't play the game this way 2k told us prior to the game being released that this gameplay this style will be unstoppable and just like what we said with the uh with the pro player and all of that it's going to be extremely difficult to stop this anybody that has tried to stop somebody that's a mid-range assassin or uses layups uh, in, in, uh effectively and all that stuff you know ex how extremely difficult it is to stop that as a matter of fact we're going to show you something this post from queen <laughs> queen queen uh she just said listen bro uh i guess i should have played better defense look at this with the mid-range game and some of these moves when you look at that bro she got <laughs> i see all the dudes she just go swimming it ain't nothing she can do and i know you're thinking it's not a miss somebody going <laughs> it's not a mid-range bro when he started that joint it was like his foot was in the mid-range and she just goes swimming but this is just uh, this not about it being a mid-range it's really about the fact that these are some of the things that Black Cobra does in his gameplay. And uh, like, hey, some people, uh, this is what Downwork says, I'll clamp that the whole time. This is they, this is their defense. Yeah, he's absolutely right on that. And you thinking that you can stop that stuff, but then you got my guy Job Bridge for putting this out here right here, talking about how the mid range and layups are just deadly. And it's nothing that you can do about somebody who is well versed in playing that now we don't know what this guy's mid, uh interior defense is or any of that but bro look at some of these animations that my man is getting with high layup and i know that you'll think you're gonna say <laughs> well he has he got he got low interior that's why he's like shut the f up shut the f up bro my boy t mizzle got 88 interior and 90 some odd strength bro and guess what guess what he's not able to stop somebody that was doing this to him last night he was like bro the dude on the stream was like in his stream was like that's what you get for not for making a bill that doesn't have interior and t was like bro i got 88 interior what are you talking about like you can't stop this and it's like you'll be trying to jump you're hitting the jump button you're doing all the time and this even happens to my six nine center sometimes if the guys if the guy has high enough layup and i don't jump and just absolutely snatch block it or something like that they're going to make the shot and this dude came back from from whatever look he got the ball and you know he ain't got no dribble moves or none of that and he just he just completely just just dump truck that dude right there so you knowing that you can't stop that stuff you know people will say well you can stop black cold mr bro you can't he, he if he uses all of the stuff that he's supposed to use you're not stopping that man so anyway saying all that to say this we got hey they said hey look hey you can't be bumping like, people love this stuff man you can't be bumping your chest uh saying that i've been i've been doing this in pro-am when you when you haven't ranked pro-am is literally the same as as uh rick with uh with different jerseys uh any of those any of those leagues i just referenced in my other tweet uh are what the top guys compete in it's just facts and you know i i do got you it is facts but let me i'm gonna put you on to something that black cobra's pretty much saying in this tweet we do not care
Hey, he's saying he don't care, man, because he just said, hey, you're making my point for me. Comp Pro-Am is an entirely, is entirely different entity outside of 2K game modes that can't be accessed through matchmaking. Uh, there is no door that I can, that anybody, I or anybody can walk through to enter Comp Pro-Am. So when I say that I've been doing it in Pro-Am, and that's what he says, Pro-Am itself, that's exactly what I mean and exactly what I've been doing. I walk in with my guys and I match up against who, whoever uh, we match up against. That's Pro-Am. You don't get to decide what Pro-Am, what is, what's Pro-Am. You get to decide what comp Pro-Am is when you move with your goal post moving ass, but you don't get to decide what Pro-Am is and that and what it isn't. And, uh, as, and that's already been decided. The, the mode is what the mode is. And the request, I mean, and the request for me to go into your astronomically small environment to do what I do admits that I, uh, that what I do works against the general 2K population, which is what everyone except five to 10%, I'm gonna say 2%, you know, are. And that's just how that goes, man. And then he just says, you know, he says, I get, I get that, but I like Cobra. I mean, it's, I get that, but I like Cobra. I just want to see him play with uh, with other great players and play and play his style. So you're telling me uh, nobody in his community would would want him to go into in a league against great players and uh, be successful. The whole community would go crazy, bro. You're kidding me. Again, I, I just I just don't care. Like he says, uh, like this is what Swante say. OG Grandmaster Swante say, if you ever do prove yourself, it's never ending. Exactly, you got to do it over and over every month of every year, uh, every 2K, and they still won't respect it if uh, if if you somehow win. It says all pointless. Got to prove. Let me go. Just gonna go over here. All pointless. Got to prove uh, people less clout. I mean, uh, got to prove yourself to people with less clout over and over again. And uh, there's no true benefit. And that's pretty much what it is. What we're talking about. And Swante, like it's just like what they say. Steezo can't do it in pro am. Yes, Steezo. Steezo bust people behind in pro am. And was when if he didn't get sold out by dope swag in 16. They would have won the two hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's really what put Steezo on the map because he and Batman were were up there. Steezo don't play like that in pro am. He don't play like that in the comp scene. You understand what I'm saying? But he does play like that, and it's the same thing like this. Like Black Cobra might play a different way. Swante even is like he can't play pro am. Swante had a top pro am team in seventeen and eighteen. He was carrying agent and all that. So so you know it is what it is. So he's right. It's no benefit to it. I got my clout. I got my community. You guys see that I'm getting it, and you're upset that, that that the only thing is you're upset that that you feel like you're the best of the best, but you're not getting the same amount of shine, and that's fine. But he's just not interested in it. I mean, that's what it is. He said, I don't respect the community in general. Zero respect. There's individuals within there that I do respect for. I do have respect for, but as a collective, I have no respect. Uh, from the time I started until now, I, it has always been comp community to insert themselves into what I've been doing. Never, never went into the in their streams or videos or any form of their content to watch or say anything because it doesn't interest me. There you go. It doesn't interest me. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter. That's pretty much what he's saying right there. And it's I don't enjoy watching how they play the game. So I have no reason to check for them. Right. It's unfortunate because they are really, they are, I mean, because there are really cool down to earth people who are like see it and lag out, who are part of the comp community. But that bridge, yeah, that bridge has been burned. You'll never catch me in any comp environment for any reason. Uh, you know, people don't forget how uh, how you first uh, treated me, uh, treated them, what have you. And then Splash came along and you know, he just said something like, hey, let's let's not oversimplify the point. The point <laughs> shouldn't be overcomplicated. If player if player A says they can't be stopped and player B says uh, they can't, I mean, let's, let's play to C and play uh, and play, let me see, and the player A would rather jump off a cliff instead of playing player B, then that means that the dude's trying to cover up the fact that uh, that dudes are going to get popped I'm not, I mean, it's not overcomplicated. And I would just say, nah, that's not the case, man. Because it's been like, let's let's be real, man. A lot of people don't share the experiences in life that I share. I'm 6'4", 230. I got tried a lot in my lifetime. And a lot of people want to fight. They want to do anything they can to try to fight you or play me in ball and stuff. And some people, it's pointless for me to play. There's no benefit. If they win, they get all the glory. If I win, it's nothing. It's just kind of like Jay, Jay Z said, if I win, I shoot you, I'm brainless. You shoot me, you famous. And it's like, like people have tried me. I don't, I don't won. I've lost, but I've learned that there's no benefit 
to me to me doing it because if it's somebody that, that i'm fighting and i'm gonna beat the dog shit out of you because you're like five foot tall or something like that and i'm and i and my whole family got hands and i had to fight them my whole life so you know if somebody really wants to fight me i've learned that that they either they either know that shit, they 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 packing or they got their homeboys with them if they just rah rah to fight me or what have you like that. And 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 in either one, in the case, I don't want none of that. So it is what it is. And in this case, it's you got your whole set of homeboys up here, and we are just going to sit here and sit on that and make sure that you can't do what you want to do. And so like like I said, it's just no benefit for that right there. Like I mean, y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Like you got a little dude. Oh, you scared? You scared? You can't get me with your scared. I'm grown, bro. It could just be. It don't have to be that you're scared. There's always another option that I'm a grown man and I'm just not interested in your antics. That's it. It could really be that plain and that simple. And you know, it is and it, it I, I don't understand why they just can't let it be. Like just just let it be. He's not interested. He doesn't care. I'm happy doing what I'm doing. And it's like most of the other guys in the community, a lot of other guys in the community, they post things and uh, you know, like like when they were popular and nobody was going at them like you can't do this in pro am. If they took the bait, shame on them because you shouldn't have. You like ain't nobody in the pro in 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 the competitive community. You got two or three guys really up there, but the guys that are really up there, they have no interest. Like Duke, Cash, all them, Fredo, no interest in the competitive community. Uh, like uh, you know, they they don't want to do that. They just want to play that game, do their thing. Uh, like I said, you know, bass plug will pop out here and there. And then uh, like grinding and all them guys, hey, you don't get up there by doing that. Do your thing and uh, just 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 do your thing. Let that man do his thing, you do your thing. Everybody got their money, but he don't have to be interested in y'all's antics. And, and if he's not, you really look, you really look like, you really look feminine running behind somebody that has no interest in you, if that makes sense. That's how it really looks. Um, because you know or you like a simp yeah, there you go the, the, the s word running behind somebody that got no interest in you and you're trying to force them to be interested in what you're doing but they're just not interested in it bro so you just just i would just leave it alone because like i said it's no benefit for him and and it's no benefit for y'all y'all not making him look scared like to somebody that's really objectively looking at it y'all y'all just make it you just look make y'all look bad man but anyway y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section i rock with all them guys though man like i said we can agree disagree whatever but uh that's just how it looks to me i'm out of y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ God speak, God speak.